Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. And today, people can finally claim the Sunday Swap tokens they earned during the Sunday Swap ISO. So the ISO ran for five epochs. So if you were in one of the Sunday Swap ISO pools for any of them epochs or for all of them epochs, you can now claim your tokens through drip drops. They will, Sunday Swap will also create their own distribution method later this year. So if you want to wait for that, that's no problem. You can do that and the reverse ISO, which they ran for one epoch, that's finished now, but them tokens will only be available through the Sunday Swap distribution later in the year. For drip drops, this is for the ISO tokens. So we'll get into it. I'll show you how to do the process. I'll talk a bit about different wallets and what you can do there. Sunday Swap have also started their governance path or their road to governance. So I'll mention that towards the end as well get value please do share it out if you think others can benefit and give it a like comment for the algorithm and let's jump into it okay so this is drip drops for anyone who hasn't seen it before it's a platform that allows projects to distribute their tokens across the network so the projects can set the specific addresses that can claim them or the specific stake pools that can claim them and the different ratios of what people should get when they are claiming the tokens. So right now, Sunday Swap is the only one that can be claimed for these few days. Normally when you come in here, there is 10 to 15 different tokens and you can claim any of them that you're entitled to. But just because of the demand that was expected, right now Sunday is the only one you can claim. So when you want to claim, all you need to do is go to the wallet that you use. So this doesn't matter what wallet it is. It can be Daedalus, Uroi, CC Vault, Nami, Typhoon, Jiro, whatever wallet you use, go into it. And you can see I have CC Vault here. Go and get one of your used addresses. And when you copy the address, I've copied that there. Go back over to Drip Drops. I will leave links to Drip Drops below for anyone who doesn't have an account yet. Paste in the address here. So you go to drip it, paste in the address here, check my drops. And you can see here, this is the test account that I use. You can see there's 18 ADA is staked to Paul. And for this one, I can claim 0.34 Sunday. So when if you want to claim this, normally you would see multiple different tokens here and you can tick on all of the ones you want to claim just like that. So I've ticked on the Sunday, that's the one I want to get. Agree to the terms and policies here. Click on claim my drops. And then what it does is it gives me the address here that I need to send three ADA to this address. So when I send three ADA to this address, you can see the breakdown down here. I send in three ADA, I will get back 1.34 ADA, plus I will get back the Sunday swap tokens. Now, when you see the amount of tokens I will get back here, because this is a test account, it's not very much. So in this case, the fee would outweigh the Sunday token. So people who have smaller amounts of ADA staked, then maybe using the Sunday swap process later in the year will have less fees on it. So that might be an option for you to use there. But if you want to go ahead with the claim process here, what you do is copy the address here, go back into the wallet that you are using, for me, CC Vault, I actually have a full demo coming up on CC Vault because I get asked a lot about what wallet I use and what one people should use. So I'm going to do a full walkthrough of this. I will do that later on today as well. So click on next. I need to send three ADA to this address. Click on next. Put in password of your wallet and sign. So that, that amount now is gone off. You can see it's pending here and it should hit the chain fairly soon. Okay, when I look at it here on drip drops, I can see it has been completed. That means they've got the three ADA and they've processed the transaction to send the Sunday back to me. If I come back into CC Vault here, you can see that I have received the ADA back, the 1.34, and I've also received 0.34 Sunday. So when I look here, I sent the transaction, I sent my three ADA at 11.14 and it's now 11.17, so three minutes it took for my three ADA to go to them and for the Sunday and ADA to come back to me. So very quick process, great to see it running so smooth. Okay, now you have your Sunday swap tokens, what you do with them is up to yourself. So some people might want to go straight to the decks and sell them, some might want to go and provide liquidity, or some are happy just to let them sit in the wallet 
and wait to see what happens long term. So if you want to sit and wait, it's fine. You can just leave them sitting in your wallet. If you want to go and interact with the DEX, then you might need to change your wallet depending on what one you're using. So right now, hardware wallets aren't supported for signing smart contracts. So that means that using any DEX or DApp on Cardano right now, you can't use your hardware wallet. So what you would need to do is set up a hot wallet. So come into something like CC Vault, add a new wallet in here and send the funds in there that you want to interact with on a smart contract. As well as that, if you use something like Daedalus right now, you can't interact with any of the DApps using Daedalus even if it's a non-hardware wallet in Daedalus. So what you would need to do is set up, either set up a NAMI or a CC Vault wallet separately, or take the seed phrase that you have for Daedalus and come in and restore it in CC Vault or NAMI, actually not in NAMI, NAMI is a single address wallet. So I would say go to CC Vault, click on add wallet, and you go into restore wallet here. For Daedalus, it would be a 24 word seed phrase. Click on that, click next and then put in the 24 word seed phrase that you use for Daedalus. When you do that, you get the exact same wallet again in CC Vault. Now I'm going to go deeper into this when I do my video on CC Vault later today, but basically CC Vault, Daedalus, NAMI, any of these wallets are just how you view the tokens that are connected to your wallet. What's important is the private keys or your seed phrase. That's what actually gives you access to the tokens that are stored on the blockchain. All tokens are always stored on the blockchain. They are never stored in the wallet that you are using. It's just the way that you look at the tokens that are connected to your account. So once you restore the seed phrase into any of the different wallet providers, you will get the exact same wallet when you do that. So for people who haven't used the DEX before on CC Vault, I will put a link to the CC Vault tutorial down below. But in this wallet here, you can see token list. I have some World Mobile tokens and I have Sunday here. So if I want to use this one on the DEX, I click enable DApp account. And then when I come over to Sunday here, you can see the wallet is connected here. So I would go into the Sunday ADA pair here. And then you have the option to either provide liquidity, which means you need to put in ADA and Sunday or go to swap Sunday ADA. So that would mean that I would swap the Sunday tokens that I have for ADA. If I click on max, it says I would get 0.15 ADA. At these amounts, it's not worth swapping at this stage. And when you look down here, when you would take the different fees and different things into account, it's not worth me doing the swap in this. But for you, depending on how many Sunday you got, potentially this is worth it or providing liquidity is an option for you as well. So any questions on that, let me know. I will come back through the comment section and maybe include them in some of the future videos as well. In terms of governance, SundaySwap's protocol road to governance has started. So they're looking to, what this basically means is they want the community to decide the future of the project. So things like what projects should have incentivized, have extra incentive to add liquidity, like which ones should be included in yield farming, where should there be extra incentive, anything else, any other direction that the change or that the protocol should be taken in. So when you come in here, you can see the latest proposals. Now, right now, this isn't fully on chain due to some of the restrictions on the Cardano chain. Later this year, this will all go fully on chain. So you can see some of the proposals here are about adding liquidity to some different pairs there already. Another one that caught my eye and something, I'd like to see something like this come in at some point. I'm not sure if adding this much of a fee is the right thing to do, but I like where the idea of this is going. So it's about adding, so what they're saying here is adding an extra fee to every swap on the exchange, and then them fees are distributed to eight or two Sunday holders once a month. So it means there's an extra incentive there for people to hold the Sunday token, because right now, there isn't much incentive to hold it apart from hoping the price will go up in the long term. So if you believe in the project, then yes, that could work out well. But for me, I always look at what are the incentives to hold a token? If there was an extra incentive like this that you could stake Sunday or that there was fees, fees that are earned by the decks were getting distributed to Sunday swap holders, things like that are what really incentivize people to hold a token. So I look at more dynamics and more tokenomics around them types of things in a future video to dive a bit deeper into it. But for anyone who wants to take a look at the 
start of the road to governance. I'll leave the links to the Medium post down below and that links off to the governance portal then at that stage. Hope this has been help guys. If you need a stake pool, my stake pool is there if you want to support the channel. Give the video a like, comment below any questions and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.